my chickens keep pooping in their food bowl. Oh, see, someone keeps pecking eggs. Looks like they pecked one over here. I don't think anybody laid over here. I'm wondering if this egg was laid over there. Get out of here, Missy. I'm disappointed. I gotta get all of this wet out of here. I don't think they do that because they need protein. Because we give them plenty of protein and I don't think they do it because they need oyster shell because we also give, or sorry, not oyster shell. We do supplement oyster shell. I don't know. Hi, Huxley. You ready to go inside? Everybody. So I think because I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, I'm gonna do just an easy video and I think I'm just gonna take you outside. We're supposed to get some severe weather today, but I thought before the severe weather hit, I would take you outside and show you how some of my plants are doing. Here's one pot that I killed, or I thought I killed. This was my fuchsia. This thing seemed very temperamental about watering, but I cut everything back and looks like it's coming back, so we'll see. I might leave it and just see what happens. I planted this snapdragon in here. I had it in one of these these plug trays over here and I didn't want it to die, so I just planted it in there for now. It's fun to watch petunias go to seed. It's a little early in the season to let these guys go to seed though, so I'll probably come prune off these old blooms. I love potato vines. Does anybody else just love potato vines of all kinds because I do. I find them really pretty and fascinating. I love these little petunias. How cool. I have a bunch of weeds out here. Some little basil going to seed. I had a very bad, oh there's some more June bugs that I need to go catch. I just keep them in a jar. Look at these marigolds. Each of these is one plant. These marigolds right here, it's one plant. It's like a little forest in here. And look at that potato vine. You can't really see it very well. It's just like overflowing. I've taken multiple cuttings from this thing and it's just going crazy. I love these little lantanas. I think that's what it's called. But what I'm really excited about are my zinnias. My queen lime zinnias have started to bloom. How gorgeous is that? The red ones were the ones that I was the most excited about. And so I'm really excited. The first one to bloom was a red. It's just so pretty. This is my first year growing zinnias. I'm kind of an amateur with flowers. So pretty. I think this one might be orange. Maybe. It's really pretty. Oh. Sorry little guys. Hopefully you're friends, not foes. This is a straw flower. It looks very like weedy until it blooms. There were a couple of times I almost plucked it because I thought it was a weed. to get out here and weed. I've got all of the tall grassy stuff that needs to get plucked. And this is how my green stalk in the front is doing. It is going absolutely crazy. I didn't realize I planted a kajari melon in here, so I took it out because it was literally going insane. Um, I'm not sure what this is here. I don't know what this is, but I'm pretty sure these are cucamelons. Probably will leave those. Well, they're going quite crazy. My Atlanta. How many did I plant in there? Oh my goodness! It's gonna be. 
think there might be like six plants in there, guys. And some Swiss chard. This might be lemon basil. Feels like a storm's coming with that breeze. Oh look, a little strawberry. Look, a little strawberry. I think this is another straw flower. Some spinach going to seed. It started going to seed a little while ago. I'm surprised I've been able to harvest on it as long as I have, but I won't complain because I got a decent harvest off of it. And this tetsoi is, oh my gosh, this stuff is so yummy. It's like creamy and delicious. It's a, I think it's a, I want to say it's a mustard green. It's an Asian green. Delicious. I had this beautiful petunia hanging basket right here that was so full and gorgeous and I cut it all back. Hopefully in a couple of weeks it'll look really good. This green looks like it's really, this looks better than it did a couple of days ago even when I cut it. These petunias are absolutely gorgeous. These headliner electric purple and crystal sky. These petunias are absolutely gorgeous. They were just so stunning sitting in our local nursery that I could not resist them but they started looking really pitiful one day when I forgot to water them. I neglected them. But anyway, here's another potato vine. Oh, I love these things so much. These little profusion zinnias are so fun to watch. I think that's what these are called, are profusion. They just bloom and bloom and bloom. They're very short, but they're really bright and pretty. One little strawberry. All right, everybody, this is going to be an experiment of sorts because I don't think I've ever vlogged on my old camera um, that I used to use for photography. This is a Canon 70D. And we are going to uh, Experiment together here. I have some some elephant ear bulbs. These are teacup or coffee cup elephant ear bulbs. And uh, honestly, I'm a little disappointed in these. I'm gonna email the company because they're all like dried up and shriveled. And I've never received bulbs in this condition before. So I'm going to email the company. But they do have a guarantee that their bulbs will grow. So I think I'm going to plant them anyway and just see what happens. And if they don't grow, we'll figure it out there. But I feel like I should at the very least email the company. Let's see if this is normal. I thought you guys might like to come with me as I plant these guys up. I'm gonna take this inside and water it quick because I don't have a hose nearby and my sink is right there. So I'm gonna take this inside and water it and then I'll probably set it on the next steps. Hey guys, so I think that's all that I have for you today. So I'm gonna get going. We're actually just starting a movie. We're watching The Grinch with Jim Carrey that I watched a lot when I was a kid. Anyway, <laughs> that's all that I have for you guys today. Until next time, have a blessed day.